I really love entertaining along an ethnic or multicultural theme because it gives me an opportunity to discover new things about a culture. Now, in the case of our Italian dinner, this has given me a great chance to kind of update myself on what's hot on the market. First and foremost, of course, is old favorites. In North America, I love beer, and I was very pleased to find a huge assortment of different beers available from Italy. This one is from the Friulian area. I love it, and I've included it tonight in case my guests want a nice cold. A bottle of brew, let's just put it that way. Now, if you're doing aperitifs, the Italians start with different types of cocktails right off the top. They love dry and sweet vermouth. So if you're at the Piazza San Marco, you're under the Italian skies, pigeons are flying, church bells are ringing, you're enjoying it. Cinzano on the rocks with a little bit of a lemon twist. It's very good. But this one I found very interesting. This is Sinar, and I haven't tried it yet, but I was really attracted, number one, by this really vibrant label, but also by the fact that this is made from artichokes. So it's going to be something nice to try this evening. My favorite, though, has always been Campari. It's a piquant kind of uh, bitter tasting starter. You serve it with a little bit of soda water, or at least that's how I like to enjoy it, with a nice garnish of a big juicy wedge of orange. And I've got a great cocktail. We'll stir the spoon to start off the evening. So there's a couple of suggestions on first drinks for our Italian feast. Now, the Italians, of course, are known for their wines, and it's important to get a selection of different wines from different regions. Speak to your wine expert and ask them, hey, I'm serving this, what do you think would go with it? And what I've selected for this evening's meal, I have everything from bolas, I have barolos, I have uh, Chianti Classicals, a whole assortment of different wines, and I can change them depending on exactly what my guests would like to enjoy this evening. I think probably, though, I'll go with the Barolo. I think it'll be nice for my meal. Dinner is done, table's cleared, you're on to dessert. I love some of the finishing touches that you can serve now on an Italian theme. This is a new discovery of mine. I love it. It's called Lemoncella, and they come in all kinds of different color shapes. They're manufactured from many different places now. This, served very cold in small pony glasses, is perfect with an espresso or a little uh, dish of sorbet or Italian ice. It's very, very nice. And of course, you can't forget the standard uh, drinks and liqueurs that the Italians are known for. Sambuca is one, and that rich almond flavor of amaretto. Both of these are really lovely liqueurs that are the perfect ending to a perfect Italian dinner. So, from me to you, I suggest get out there and discover as much as you can about the culture. Share it with your friends, and you'll be sharing some great ideas for a perfect way to entertain. Enjoy.